and good afternoon and welcome to Great Day Connecticut. I'm Melissa Cole filling in today. Yes, and I'm Renee Danino. Scott and Kara are both off, but Scott will be back tomorrow. Yes. I think Carol will be back Kara's tomorrow, back too. tomorrow too. Okay, good. yes, yesterday was her birthday, Happy so birthday, she's Kara. taken a little long weekend. It looks like she, I saw her pictures on Instagram. She had a fun dinner out. Oh, yes, she did, and mm -hmm. she looked great, and I hope she had the most wonderful birthday. Yeah, so, hey, are you getting a Powerball jackpot ticket? A Powerball jackpot ticket. <laughs> I just, I 20 of them? I found all the extra cash in my house, and that's how many. I'm getting at least 20. All right, well, no one won Saturday's drawing for the $875 million dollar prize, so tonight is your chance for getting Get this, an estimated 900 million. This is the third largest Powerball jackpot ever. And you know what your odds are winning are and about? You know, I do know. It's one in 292.2 .2 million. I just calculated that in my You're brain so automatically. Good at math. Yes, thank you. You're more likely to win an Olympic gold medal. Well, get struck by lightning not once, but <laughs> twice. Or marry into royalty. Oh, my goodness. Well, good luck. I, am, I mean, do, somebody has to win it eventually. Do you have a lucky number? No, I know. You, do you don't? Yes, I do. What is it? 13. I feel like that's I give like that everybody's to you. unlucky number. There, if you're Italian, anyone who's Italian knows I'm that Italian. Actually, well, 13 is like, traditionally yes. a lucky number right. in Italy. So 13, and I always use it. I haven't. <laughs> oh, thank you. Adam just said it's because I'm weird, but I've also never won with it. So maybe I'll change yeah. my lucky number. No, don't change it because then tonight, watch it be 13. You know, Jason Aldean, did you see or hear about I this? I heard about this. Oh my gosh. I wasn't at the concert, but. Yeah, so many of my friends in our station country on I drive, we were out there, and Jason Aldean uh, says he's feeling a lot better after ending his weekend concert here in Connecticut. He, they say heat exhaustion, heat stroke, it really hasn't been confirmed exactly, but he said uh, he had a lot of people checking in on him after the, the show, after they heard what happened, and Aldean said on Sunday in a video he posted on Instagram story, um, but he thanks, uh, says thanks to everybody who checked in on him. Yeah, I think he had a combination of dehydration mm -hmm. and heat exhaustion. He yeah. got a couple of IVs, yeah. um, and I think anybody who had tickets to that show obviously they didn't get a full show he yep. will eventually reschedule that yeah and I think it was during his encores anyways but they said they're gonna reschedule it for a future date which is great and a lot of people went but I'll tell you what some of my friends were at the show and two of them had to leave early because they were so hot and when you go to these concerts yeah. and you tailgate you have to have water right, and you know how right. hot it was this weekend and muggy and tropical it's just oh so gosh. humid yeah, yeah. Oh, that's too bad. Yeah. All right. This is, I think, my favorite story of the morning. I am going to pray that I can get through it and be mature. Okay. I don't think so. Singer Joe Jonas, who we all love, mm -hmm. he came clean over the weekend, revealing sure that once he had to make quick change during one of his concerts, because why, Renee? Well, um, he pooped his pants. Yeah. He pooped his pants on stage. On stage. You don't yeah. have to pay extra for that either. Uh, it's just a part of the show. The Jonas Brothers band member made that revelation during a podcast after he was asked about something he hadn't previously told the media. I, I don't know. I feel like, do you need to say everything though, Melissa? I mean, I think I would probably keep this one to myself, but I guess it happened about four years ago okay. during an unspecified concert. Okay. Um, let's, he said, let's just say it was a bad day to choose to wear white. The 33 year old oh, father of two joked. And he said he thought it was just going to be a little toot, but ended <laughs> up being much more forcing him to rush off stage for a quick outfit change. If you're just tuning in, uh, Joe Jonas pooped his pants four years ago, thought it was a toot, wasn't um and we will definitely follow this story for you my parents are probably watching right now they're so proud of me for reading this story i feel like you don't need to reveal everything that's a story you don't you know need to reveal. i was thinking about i think i could see two sides to it right you don't need to reveal that but also like if it happened to someone else somewhere maybe not on a famous stage then you'd be like you know what i'm not the only one joe jonas joe jonas pooped his pants too so like makes you feel better yeah Anyway, I feel like he could have kept that to himself. Well, we're talking about Andrea Bocelli. I don't yes. think he's ever pooped his pants on stage. I don't want to know, sir, if that is the case. But in any event, I am so excited. It's Christmas in July, and it's our Christmas in July contest with Andrea Bocelli at the Excel Center. I'm starting this today, you guys. You can upload a festive photo of your most festive Christmas tree in July. You're going to send it to me now. I want you to find Renee Danino on Instagram or Facebook. All the details are there. He's returning to Connecticut for the first time in 20 years, December 9th, at the Excel Center. I want to send you in three of your friends with limo too. This contest is for the remainder of July. Uh, the most festive tree wins, and I'm gonna. My friends and ambassador are gonna hook you up four four tickets to the show. Andrea Bocelli hasn't been here in 20 years. I'm sure people are feverishly looking for a good picture right now because yes. that is gonna be in it's demand. Huge. I just put it on my Renee Danino Instagram page, and people are already. I'm, I've got two 
because we talked about it this morning. I've got two Christmas trees so far. So listen, if I only get two, that's very good odds. But I think it's going to be more than that. Yeah, because it's, it's going to run for two weeks. So good luck. And what to a you. great way to like kick off the Christmas season, you know, with that voice. I took my grandma to that show 20 so years special. ago. All right. Speaking of voices, Dolly Parton. Woo. She says, well, her career has been well over uh, half a century. Yeah. She says she is just no never way, going to retire retire. She's 77. She's an icon. Um, she appeared on Greatest Hits Radio last week to speak about her career, saying that she's just not going to sit around doing nothing. What else could she do? I mean, this is it. She said she would never retire. She she says, hopefully I'll drop dead in the middle of a song on stage someday. That's Dolly's words, not ours. And hopefully one that she's written. She said that's how she hopes she goes. And of course, we don't want her to go anywhere. But if that is her dream, I mean, what better way than for an artist to go, I guess. Oh my goodness. That, that's amazing. And you know what? Like, she obviously loves her job, loves her career. And, you know, when you love your job like that, it's, it doesn't feel like work. So. You know, when you, I go down the baking aisle now and I see the Dolly Parton baking yeah. stuff, I have so many Dolly Parton baking. I bought it. I don't even know what I bought. It just says you Dolly just Parton. You just want to make a cake that and her, her name is on. Reading and her library and her, I mean, she's just incredible. I love yeah. her. Go, right. go Dolly. Yes. All right. Well, James, director James Cameron spoke about this over the weekend. Mm. He said that he is absolutely not in talks about directing a film surrounding that Ocean Gate type yeah. t Titan submersible tragedy. He found it offensive that, you know, people were talking about this, the five men that died while en route to the infamous Titanic wreckage. Cameron obviously directed the iconic 1997 film starring Leonardo DiCaprio, Kate Winslet, of course. Um, and he has done so many trips to that ship himself. Uh, but in a statement on his Instagram story on Saturday morning, he really wanted to just fight off rumors. And he found every everything that everyone is saying about this because they had so much money has just been a little bit a little bit off, off, off offensive, I would have to say. Yeah, so he said he yeah. doesn't usually respond to offensive rumors mm -hmm. in the media. I'm sure he gets a million, yeah. but this time he said, I am not in talks about the Ocean no. Gate film, nor will I ever be. So I'm glad he came clean about yeah, that. Yeah, that was nice. It's probably just some rumor someone, you know, and it just kind of took off. You never know these days. All right, Netflix has a new docu-series in the works following the athletes of the U.S. Women's World Cup team. Melissa, this looks really great. Yeah, it's currently in production in New Zealand and Australia, where the team begins competing later this week in an attempt to win their third consecutive uh, Women's World Cup yeah, title. The, the FIFA Women's World Cup title, the All Access Sports Series, will allow audiences to intimately follow the U.S. Women's National Team's players and coaches and, of course, reveal an inside look at the decorated team, the most decorated women's team in soccer history. Oh, the Viewers are going to get a first-hand look at all the pressure, the euphoria, the joy, the hardships, all of it, as these world-class um, athletes experience Yes, them. yes, yes. Boy, I remember the days when I was a world-class athlete. I don't so remember those fun. days for you or for me. Okay, Melissa, it's pretend time. Can't you just go with me? All right, my husband is obsessed with this movie. I think he's shown it to my kids like five times. You can hit the road again with the Griswolds. Yep. This month marks the 40th anniversary oh, of National Lampoon's Vacation. And to celebrate, the film will be back on the big screen in select theaters nationwide this Wednesday, July 19th, including six theaters right here in Connecticut. Absolutely, and for more information, you can visit fathomevents.com. The film, of course, has become a cult classic over the years and the cast members say that fans still love telling them stories about their own family vacations that I know we all have them, right? <laughs> of course. <laughs> we all do. Right. All right. I'm not, are you a beer fan? Uh, if it's in a glass, yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, <laughs> here's a reason to pour yourself a pint tonight. Okay. A new survey is revealing that, this is surprising to me though, Guinness is the okay. most popular beer in the United States. All right, well, that's according to you, Gov. Now, I'm going to say I have a recipe that I do make with Guinness. Yeah. And the only way I can drink it is you pour, you put vanilla ice cream in a cup with Hershey's dark syrup, and then you put uh, you pour Guinness over the ice cream, and you can make a Guinness sundae. That's the only way I can drink okay, Guinness. Okay, I can probably drink it. It is delicious like that. that way. All right, thousands but, of people. Yeah, thousands yours. of people um, were surveyed, and 58% of them said that they like Guinness. Corona was ranked second most popular, okay. followed by Heineken. Ooh. Sam Adams and Blue Moon. I like Blue Moon. I do like, it's very refreshing. Well, other people agree with you. All right, well, thank you for that. <laughs> McDonald's wants customers to add a little spice to their meals, Melissa. I don't know if you can handle this. If you watch Great Day at 9A, Renee had a little trouble eating the spice in the buffalo chicken wraps. I am not good with spice. But they just rolled out jalapeno-topped breakfast sandwiches as well as a jalapeno-topped burger, McDonald's new cheesy jalapeno sausage egg McMuffin and cheesy jalapeno bacon quarter pounder <laughs> with cheese are all available at participating 
locations. No word on how long they're going to be on the menu, so mm -hmm. you may want to go and get it if you like the spice. Yeah, and customers are getting crafty. If you order online, you can customize your items, and social media users are adding the spicy peppers to other fan favorite items like the McChickens and even the filet of fish. I don't know. I, I do, I don't mind spice. And they do say it makes your metabolism go a little faster. Yeah, I think I would actually probably like it. Well, give it a shot.